San Francisco-based Williams-Sonoma will pay a record $3 million fine for falsely claiming some of its products were made in the USA. The penalty against Williams-Sonoma was the largest ever fine for fraudulent made-in-USA labels. But they're not the only ones deceiving consumers. There's N95 mask manufacturer ALG Health and glue maker Commence and Japanese tractor and mower manufacturer Kubota. In fact, Williams-Sonoma had been fined for false labeling before when it was hit with a $1 million FTC settlement in 2020. Why are these FTC penalties important? Because the made in USA label matters. For consumers, it's an indicator of quality and an assurance that their purchase will support American workers. In many cases, they're even willing to pay a premium for American made. Fraudulent labels rob consumers of their spending dollars and hurt U.S. manufacturers who are doing the hard work of investing in our nation. This is why the FTC's enforcement is a victory for American manufacturers. But we can do more. Case in point, 83% of Americans support requiring online retailers to display products country of origin info, just like brick and mortar stores do. In 2023, members of Congress introduced a bipartisan bill to do just that. Americans really do have a right to know where the products they buy are being made, whether they're being made right here in America by American workers or not. Want to help? Call your representatives today in support of the Country of Origin Labeling Online Act and use our Made in America directory to support a U.S. manufacturer with your next purchase.